Hi everyone, it's Anne Emery. This is an Excel tutorial for evaluators. This video is about conditional formatting, and in particular, it's about the top and bottom rules. It says number one right there because this is the first of several videos about top and bottom rules and about conditional formatting. Here's my data set for this video. It's a pre-post test analysis. Youth were rated before and after a program on their attendance, punctuality, workplace appearance, etc. And I also have their total scores here. A lower score is not as good, a higher score is good. So before I actually get into my analysis, I want to do some exploration, just some basic, basic analysis to take a look. I want to see if people who had lower pre-test scores also had lower post-test scores. So in other words, if the scores were correlated. Um, now I could do a scatter plot, I could calculate an R value. I don't really want to do that. I just kind of want to give it a quickie look. So I've got my filters here. I could sort from smallest to largest. I see some smaller numbers on the pre-test, smaller numbers on the post-test. If you go to the end, larger numbers on the pre-test, larger numbers in general on the post-test, that kind of makes sense. But now I want to visualize it. So I'm going to highlight this whole area. Or actually, no, I'm just going to highlight one. Let's do one at a time. The pretest here. And under your Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting, and then Top and Bottom Rules. And let's look at the ones that are above average. We'll make those green. And let's do the ones that are below average in red. So now you can see. The red ones are below, green are above. We'll do the same thing for the post-test scores. We have to do them separately because they have separate averages. Go to top and bottom rules again. Above average is green and below average is red. Okay, so what do we see? So people with lower pre-test scores also had lower post-test scores, but then you see some people who stood out a little bit. So this person had a pre-test score that was in the bottom half, but their post-test score was in the upper half, so they made larger gains than the average person. Here's um, another anomaly, here's another one, so that's pretty good. Something about those youth, they did even better. Then you get to other people who had the opposite thing happen. They had a better than average score on the pretest, but a lower than average score on the post test. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with those people, but you know, it's just looking at their general overall scores. And this data tends to be very helpful for the program staff themselves because they know these individual youth and their backgrounds, and they have the qualitative data um, just to kind of fill in the gaps that you know I don't have as the evaluator. They can make sense of these numbers a little bit better. So there you have it. Those are the top and bottom rules, one of the many features of conditional formatting. Thank you.